Back again online, this time for hands on 8 and 9. So we are requested to open image called Morpho. Open it by drag and drop here. And a binarize image to obtain black object on a white background. So image, uh, I just threshold. So we said to obtain black object on a white background. Okay. Let's do the other way around because we, we said object were white in our case. So we, we are going to have white object on black background, something like this. Apply. And now we have a, a binary image. Uh, so since uh, wh why I, I selected to have black object, black background and white object, it's because you remember that uh, uh, in my process uh, binary options uh, item, I selected that background should be black, which is obviously not the choice that was made by uh, when writing the hands on number eight, but we, we have to respect what we said to the computer. So duplicate this image, image duplicate here, yeah. and we would like to erase a small object. Uh, so we go uh, in process, binary uh, options, and we're going to ask for uh, deletion. So do delete. Um, we have to proceed as deletion. Okay. First deletion. Okay. Uh, okay. First deletion. So you, you see that somehow this deletion has. Uh, has uh, enabled to fill the small holes that were in the object, but now we need to do some erosion. So we're going to uh, do some erosion and uh, here, let's say erosion. We can do a preview. Maybe we need to do it several times, so let's say we do it four times. And indeed, we have uh, completely withdrawn all the uh, uh, the object. Maybe it was a little bit too uh, too tough because now the size of the object are not anymore the, the good size. And so another way of doing this would be to uh, do some uh, what is called close here. Yeah. Or maybe more uh, filling out, fill out uh, the, the holes first. Up, we fill out the holes, and then we could also uh, go there and make uh, an opening like this. So filling out the, the holes first, and then opening, which means dilatation, uh, which means erosion dilatation, and which give you a perfect, uh, a perfect image. So in this case, this is working perfectly. Of course, you may have a little bit different results when doing it on your own, because uh, you may not have selected the threshold at the same value as I was uh, selecting on my on my side. But this is more or less uh, the, the case. So by playing on erosion dilatation or opening closure, you can correct the small artifacts that we have after a, a threshold of an image. Hands on number nine. Uh, so hands on number nine, we are requested to uh, open this image called Amour, French style. Uh, bin rise it. So image that I just threshold. And here, this is a binary image already, so that's easy. Let's put it white on black. and do opening operation with a square of size 5 by 5. So binary opening and uh, so we didn't check what was the size process 
binary options if you want to, to know what the, the size of you know, five. I would want to do something uh, like uh, an opening, opening, opening. So you check. Okay. So we clearly see that this opening is closing some of the holes that were there. Take back the original image and make a threshold to binarize uh, what are the parts that have been eliminated. Yes. So uh, we have filled out some uh, holes. And if we do uh, 10 of them, we have something like this. So we can really reduce all the tiny uh, details. Uh, and depending on the number of them that you will add, somehow you will somehow make it more and more uh, simple. So the, the higher uh, the the higher the number of um, the iteration, the simpler your uh, your your image in the uh, in the end. Of course, uh, this um, this kind of uh, processing can be very time consuming to adjust. So you really have to use it on the last as a last option, and you should really pay attention to have the best possible uh, quality of thresholded images so that you would just have to correct slight uh, details but not uh, completely recover uh, information that will be completely lost uh, from the early processing. So that's it for this, uh, this one and see you in the next video.